Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. After Emmy hosts trashed Trump and Christians, Betty White came out with awesome surprise. Celebrities have entrenched themselves in the liberal left. They use their platform to trash President Trump, Christians, and any other conservative movement that gets in their way. But it wasn't the host's conservative bashing that was the highlight of the night. In fact, the most amazing part of the show didn't happen until almost the end. The night turned in a whole new direction when a 96 year old woman took the stage. E News wrote Betty White received a standing ovation Monday night at the 2018 Emmys before her speech that collectively melted hearts around the world. Saturday Night Live's Kate McKinnon and Alec Baldwin, both of whom are nominees for their roles on the show, introduced White as the greatest of all time. McKinnon said, There are very few people who were around then that are still working in television today, and we are lucky to be joined by one of them tonight. White has won eight Emmy Awards and nominated 24 times, and, according to McKinnon, at 96 years old she still thinks about those Emmys she didn't win. And she's still bitter. In her speech, the Golden Girls star started it off with a joke. I'm just going to quit while I'm ahead, she laughed. White told an anecdote about being called the first lady of television by a passerby, but that observer later told her daughter, she's that old, she was the first one, way, way back. She said, little did I dream then that I would be here. It's incredible that I'm still in this business and you are still putting up with me." White continued with even more jokes in her speech. She said, It's incredible that you can stay in a career this long and still have people put up with you. I wish they did that at home. She concluded, It's such a blessed business to be in. Unsurprisingly, the Twitterverse came out in full support of the actress and her accomplishments. I will donate organs for Betty White, one tweet said. Another message called White absolutely a national treasure. Congratulations on all your achievements, Betty. Outside of Betty Knight and a few others, the show was trash. Viewership was the lowest it had ever been in the history of the program. Fox News reported. Hollywood may have laughed when Emmy's host Michael Che said the only white people who thank Jesus are Republicans and ex-crackheads, but Tinseltown's latest middle finger to middle America fell flat in flyover country, and may have contributed to the telecast's all-time low viewership. Co-host Michael Che left many viewers of the 70th Annual Emmy Awards upset during the opening monologue with his fellow Saturday Night Live star Colin Yost, explaining that his mother would not be watching the show on Monday night. She says she doesn't like watching white award shows because you guys don't thank Jesus enough, Che said. That's true. The only white people that thank Jesus are Republicans and ex-crackheads. The joke didn't sit well with some viewers, who took to Twitter to complain. Not only that. The show's ratings dropped 10% from last year's already dismal numbers, setting an all-time low, according to The Ramp. While many viewers may have changed the channel after the opening monologue, jabs at average Americans were far from over and the Jesus gag became a running theme throughout the evening. Conservative strategist Chris Barron told Fox News that large swaths of the American public just want to be entertained but instead were turned into unwilling participants in a political rally disguised as an awards show. Whether it's the NFL or the Emmys, people desperately want a break from politics. It's amazing to me at just how tone-deaf Hollywood is," Barron said. In the end, the Emmys should be thankful Betty White was part of their program otherwise it would have been a total waste. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.